Serves the dirty with our sugar. Right there. <laughs> What's going on, Peter Culture? It's Sergeant Barone, and we're back again with another haircut tutorial. Today, I got my boy by you here on the chair, and I'm gonna be breaking down my step by step process on how to do a low skin fade with some texture on top. If y'all enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel so y'all stay up to date with all the tutorials that we drop weekly for y'all. Don't forget to check out our store at fadedculture.co so y'all can shop some of our faded culture gear and barber tools as well, like our swing lock razors, our Turkish razors, and our shear set. Also, these new hats that we dropped. We have these in white and cream. Cool. Bulletproof. I can literally like run straight into the wall and punch a hole. Try it. Off with. I'm not gonna try it because I don't want a hole on the wall, but yeah. So with that being said guys, let's just jump right into the tutorial. Are you gonna try running into the walker? I'm gonna run into the wall. Alright guys, so to begin this process, I'm gonna start by doing the fading and then I'll do the texture at the end. But for the fading process, I'm going to go ahead and grab my trimmers first and lay down our first initial guideline on his head. So now that that baseline is laid down, next we're going to proceed by laying down our next skyline with our clipper lever all the way open. If y'all noticed, I did light up the side of his edge up. For shape purposes, I'm going to leave the edges a little darker, so I'm going to start my fading process a little away from that lineup. Y'all see right now how I do it. And just keep in mind as well, guys, that these lines, you're always going to make sure that they're running parallel to one another. So now that that guideline is laid down, next I'm going to go ahead and throw on that number one guard with the lever all the way open to lay down the next one. Again, make sure that it's running parallel to the previous line. Now that that line is laid down, next I'm going to go ahead and throw on the number two guard with the lever all the way open. And since we're right here about where the head starts to kind of round out, what we're going to do with that number two guard never open is kind of exaggerate the flare out motion so that we don't dig in too much into the top length of the hair. Next what I'm going to do is throw on that number three guard with the lever all the way open and kind of continue that exact same process that we did with the two and a half, but just coming up a little bit higher than before. All right, now for this, Step, what I'm gonna do is start my clipper over comb technique. What I'm gonna do is not set in the comb in a straight vertical manner. What I'm gonna do is kind of like angle it outwards. That way we don't take up too much length from the top. Alright guys, now that we're done setting up our three guidelines that you see right here, you should have three like I said, the one on top, in the middle, and that first one that we laid down. We're going to start removing one by one, starting with that uppermost guideline. And for that one, what I'm going to do is throw on that one and a half clip and I'm going to position the lever on that three fourth spot. And all that position really is, is the lever positioned right in between the lever being halfway open and all the way open. So you're just going to find that middle ground with that lever, put it right there, and that's your 3 four spot that we're going to use to blend out that top guideline. All 
All right, now that that top guideline is pretty much blended out, I'm gonna move forward and start working on blending out this middle guideline that you see right here. For that one, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on that half clip and I'm gonna still leave that lever positioned to that three four spot. Since you see that this guard left that little bit of darkness right above, we're going to go ahead and throw on that number one guard with that lever position at three fours to finish taking out this middle guideline and blending it up to the rest of the paint. All right guys, so now that we're done taking out that middle guideline, next I'm gonna move forward and start working on blending out this first initial guideline that we laid down. For that one, it is gonna take four lever positions to completely blend out. And I'm gonna just open that lever on the clipper a tad bit at a time as I move up and that line gets blended out all the way. And since it does take four lever positions to blend out this last line, what I'm gonna do is kind of focus on blending out that line a section at a time. I'm gonna just focus on this left side and then move to the back left quadrant and then the right quad right back <laughs> no, 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 no. Shut the up Bernie <laughs> You've been talking like an hour You're gonna be like that shit's too complicated we go back to the other stairs yeah, Right though Just so I know it's harder to teach than it is to cut hair Stop distracting me I was in my fucking zone in my grandma was like I don't know on this joke and since it does take four lever positions to blend out completely, first I'm gonna just worry about taking it out on this left side of his head, then the back, and then the right, until it's completely blended out. Jesus Christ, that f***ing took forever. Alright, so now that we've blended it out on the left side, I'm going to move forward and start working on blending out that line on the back side. First, we're going to start with that clipper lever all the way closed. Here, I'm going to just open that lever to that halfway spot and continue blending it out. Open that lever to that three four spot and then just like before continue blending. And then last just open it all the way. And now finally we're gonna repeat the exact same steps on the right side of his head so that last line is completely blended out. Alright, so now that the blending process is pretty much done, next I'm going to move forward and start taking out the rest of the bottom of the hair. What I'm going to do is kind of flare out the trimmer so that we can leave a little bit more contrast, just so that we can have another guideline to show us how high to come up with our electric shape. I'm gonna move 
forward and start adding the texture on top. For this, I am going to use our very own Beta Culture Matte Black Shears. I will leave a link down in the description for y'all if y'all like to check them out on the website. Or y'all can just go straight to fadeculture.co to check them out. So first what I'm going to do is go ahead and dampen the hair before we start the shear work. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw in the texture. I'm going to start from the back, pull out my first section. I use the fine side of the comb first, that way it kind of helps me grip the hair better. Then once you've gone along down the middle, we're going to go ahead and start from the back again and work off on the right side of the head. Alright guys, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and spray some spritz to the front hairline area and all this is going to do is kind of freeze the hair in place so that it don't move around when I come in with my trimmer and set in my hard line on the edge. And then before I do any of my razor shaving, what I like to do is apply some shaving gel any of those areas just so that we can lubricate that area and we don't cause any skin irritation and then to better help the life of the shaving gel I'll just apply a little bit of water right over it just kind of help preserve the life without it drying out that fast and now for this shape I will use Filoso's very own razors I'm gonna go ahead and leave these razors linked down in the description so feel free to check them out and I'm gonna be going ahead and insert inserting one of these blades all you do is snap the blades in half because there's two in every packet. Okay. I like to snap the edges of the razor itself. Then I'm going to use our very own Beta Culture Matte Black Turkish Razors. Again guys, I can find these at betaculture.co. And we also have the swing lock razors if y'all prefer those. Just kind of slide that blade right through the front at your preferred exposure. And then you're ready to go. Alright, so now that we're done with the edge up process, now we're going to go ahead and add some enhancements. This part is optional, but if you do decide to use them, you can just mix equal parts of water with hair dye in a portable air gun. And then just get a business card or something that has a straight line on the edge. And then you're just going to lightly spray the edges to enhance the lineup. Alright guys, and now to style the hair, I'm going to go ahead and just dampen the hair a little bit before I apply my clay product. And then kind of blow dry the hair into the desired style that we're looking for. Then you're going to kind of work the product into the roof of the hair. And I'm going to go ahead and throw on my blow dryer at high heat and high airflow. And then what I'm going to do is use that cold airflow now to kind of lock the desired style that we're looking for. Here y'all go guys, I'm gonna go, here y'all go. <laughs> here y'all go, here y'all go. So there y'all have it guys, a skin low fade with some texture on top. If y'all enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel and also feel free to share this video with anyone that y'all think might find these videos beneficial. So really quick guys, I'm gonna show y'all the before so y'all can see what it looked like before in case y'all forgot. Is that enough of a gap? Yeah. And then here's the after. Hope y'all enjoy these steps guys. Also, I'm gonna leave a link down to this taper fade right here somewhere in this uh, video frame, whatever. So y'all can go ahead and check out that video along with the rest of the videos that we have on this channel. So with that being said guys, my name is Sergio Baron. This is Faded Culture and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Peace.